tough as this game is, Elixirs have a lot to find in this game. Now, fortunately I need to find some skills, because my melee battles are not very good. I was trying to help these guys, and they end up accidentally hitting them, so they turn on me. Straight away they're going to kill me. Yeah. I kind of die a lot in this game. I just like to explore a bit further field. I don't run into these guys. I try to dodge out of the way, and you can backstep them. But, didn't work. Again, I die way too easily in this game. Now, after passing those guys, I come to this settlement here, which I've been trying to reach. And it contains a rather powerful hidden bow. A good powerful weapon right at the top here, just ready for the taking. Doesn't belong to anyone, it's just there. Along with a load of arrows. Are you interested to know what's in that room? But I'll be another episode of my adventures at Neelix. Now, bear with me, because we're going to go up the stairs here in a moment. This way you find a lot of arrows, you're on the right track. Come pick the sickle up. Hmm, you look pickable. Yeah, not taking any chances. Oh well. Trick there, saving, so there's a little bit of lag. More goodies up here. There's quite a lot to scavenge in this little settlement. You'd be quite surprised. There we go, the phantom string. All host of arrows. There's some targets down in the settlement. There's another, all oh good, 15 or so arrows you pick up. Which is kind of handy. Also a, a little jackal on the beast that's been tamed. You'll meet um, Jonesy and the rest of them down there as well. They'll help you, new, giving you new quests and stuff, so look out for that. There's the map, this is exactly where it is. There we go. And of course, there is a point you can unlock around there, so you can teleport there. There's a teleport station here as well, so you will find that around the back of the side of one of the buildings. Interesting. There we go. That's pretty cool, isn't it? May not be The Witcher, but there's plenty to do in this game. I mean, the graphic, you know, graphic prowess of Witcher, Witcher 3, but it is pretty good. People here are friendly, they'll give you a warning. Of course, look what you're doing. This is actually friendly. Yep. It kind of puzzles me because I thought, team jackal. why are they not attacking it? Met one like this before. <laughs> but it's tamed. There we go. Maybe it can accompany you. It might be useful. I'm hoping I might be able to make it my friend. And this is where all the arrows are. It says you're buying them. And double check them as well because they're, they're not exactly in plain sight but they are there. You just have to take uh, a good walk round. This is Annie. She'll ask you to donate a lot of shards. Hey, I'm Annie. Are you here to make Hold on pain her though. Every shard you can give will go into building up our little community here. That's it. And basically you can build on this community so everything you build, everything you donate is built like here becomes yours and you can live in it no problem. create what things, like craft stuff pretty good see and that's basically how it all comes about and that's how much it costs a lot of shards, I've already donated a thousand shards to the guys up top, the bosses so I'm free to come and go in this place so I'm kinda welcome at the moment making friends if you refuse to pay them and you take them on, they'll kill you. Or knock you on your ass anyway, if you get smart with them. I think the best thing about this game is just to explore. 
any settlements or anything that just resembles a settlement is worth exploring. But of course, watch your back or you'll die more times than I do in this game. Well, there you go, a few tips. Don't be afraid to explore. Save up with shards. Try and find the X if you can. Oh, there we go. Remember, everything does kill you. If you find anything of value, watch your back when you're getting it. 